Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining this lightning talk. Today's session will be about Oracle Cloud Shell and Terraform, the perfect marriage. My name is Luke Feldman. I'm also known as Martin Linksfeld. I am OCI true believer and evangelist. Last four years, I have spent in Oracle, mostly in Oracle 80, as a cloud solution architect, helping to adopt Oracle cloud infrastructure, OCI, all around the world. For the last few months, I have been working as a senior principal product manager, mostly focused on OCI architectures and infrastructure as code model. So it means I was writing a lot of code in Terraform and Ansible. First of all, I would like to talk a little bit about common patterns in discussion with our customers, especially with solution architects. We used to ask uh, about common challenges uh, which customer used to experience during OCI deployments. So uh, the truth is, we used to hear something like that. Well, I really like OCI cloud infrastructure, but I'm looking for some good examples, some reference architectures, which can inspire me on how to set up topologies in a public cloud in a secure way. So we used to answer this way. Have you seen OCI Architecture Center and corresponding Terraform-based quick starts in GitHub? And we used to show it, right? And customer are really interested. They used to tell it's awesome and that, is, that was exactly what they were looking for. Another pattern, this time with customer DevOps engineers. Again, we are asking about other topics which seems to be challenging for them. And DevOps engineers used to answer this way. Frankly, I really like OCI console, but I would like to play with the Linux terminal instead of checking, uh, clicking on UI. It would be great to deploy and verify topologies as quickly as possible. So we are asking about Oracle Cloud Shell, and we are telling them that it is possible to deploy Terraform-based quick starts there. And here is a link to our quick start and customer are very excited about it. So what is Oracle Cloud Shell? So Oracle Cloud Shell is a web browser based terminal accessible from Oracle Cloud Console. It provides access to a Linux shell with pre-authenticated OCI CLI and other useful tools supporting you as an OCI user. Cloud Shell will appear in an OCI console as a persistent frame, as you can see on the right. And this frame will stay active as you navigate through different pages of the console. Using Cloud Shell is perfect for deploying Terraform code within your OCI tenancy. From my point of view, it's a perfect sandbox. And I'll tell you what, will, what is included with Oracle Cloud Shell. So we have the Terraform, OCI CLI, Git, Java, Python 2 and 3, SQL Plus, kubectl, Helm, Maven, Gradle, and Ansible, which means we have big zoo of different utilities which will help you every day. Advantages of Oracle Cloud Shell? First of all, Cloud Shell is located in your OCI tenancy. Your Cloud Shell VM is fully for free. So there is no need to deploy uh, some dedicated cloud infrastructure for the purpose of, the, of Terraform automation. All tools within Cloud Shell, including Terraform, are up to date. So configuration is extremely simplified. Your Terraform configuration files and state files are stored in OCI, so they are secure by design. Of course, you can use OCI bucket to store encrypted state file. Uh, and here, I would like to encourage you to watch another lightning talk provided by my good mate, Tim Clegg, where he is showing best practices about Terraform and 
um, he is showing also OCI backend usage for remote state file. Within a console, you can immediately verify the outcome of your Terraform apply execution. Hope, I hope you, I will show it in a demo. So we have one tool available everywhere where your web browser can run. Of course, Cloud Shell has some limitations. Cloud Shell comes with five gigs of storage for VM's home directory. So users who want more, um, yeah, we are encouraging them to use compute and storage resources in their tenancy. The storage is persistent from session to session. I think it's important, but after six months of non-use, our tenancy administrator will be notified with the email that the storage will be removed within 60 days. So we have time. So Cloud Shell session have maximum length of 24 hours and we have a timeout. So after 20 minutes of inactivity, uh, the session will disconnect. So from my point of view, Cloud Shell is great for uh, interactive use with OCI resources. And now it's time for OCI, Cloud Shell and Terraform demo. Okay, now we are in a console. As you can see here on the top, we have a button and we can click on this button and we can activate Cloud Shell window, Cloud Shell frame. So our Cloud Shell machine is starting. Meanwhile, I will go directly to uh, Architecture Center. And this is one of our um, ar reference architecture, hub and spoke network topology. Uh, yeah, and this uh, architecture mm, is also documented in a form of diagram. So as you can see, we have here hub VCN uh, with two subnets. And on the right, we have spoke one VCN and spoke two. And we have this VCN peering with LPGs for spoke one. And we also have yet another VCN peering for spoke two. And we have Bastion host. When we scroll down, we have here a link to GitHub to our quick start. And this quick start I have here, right? OCI Arc Hub spoke. And this code can be used immediately. So it means. I will just copy this URL. I will go directly to our Cloud Shell and I will go to Quick Start subdirectory and I will clone this repo into our Cloud Shell, right? Okay, let me go inside. And one thing more, here we have prerequisites, right? We need to set up terraform.tfvars file Unfortunately, in Cloud Shell, as I have said, we have a pre-authentication, so free attributes will not be necessary, right? So let me go directly to Cloud Shell and I will um, copy some pre prepared previously Terraform TFVars file, right? And in this file, please take a look, we have commented out free attributes, free parameters, right? Okay, right now we can run Terraform init. The proper provider will be downloaded for OCI. And now we can run Terraform apply. Let me make it a little bit bigger to see more. Yeah, so 15 resources to be added, spoke two spoke one VCN, hub VCN. Okay, a lot of stuff. Let me type yes. And now the infrastructure is in the provisioning. So let me go directly to VCNs just to check what we have. You see, we are in this one window 
in one browser, everything is in place. We have three VCNs here, Hub VCN, Spoke 1, Spoke 2, with different CIDR blocks. Let me go directly to local peering gateways. Okay, Hub VCN is connected to Spoke 1 and Spoke 2. Let me go to um, Spoke 1. Let me check peering as well from this point of view. Okay, we are connected to Hub VCN. Perfect. So now we are waiting for Bastion instance to be provisioned. So um, let me go to instances. Yeah, Bastion VM is in a provisioning state. Okay, so Bastion is nested in a hub subnet. Perfect. So this is exactly as we have defined in a reference architecture, right? In a hub VCN, we have a subnet management subnet for this particular. Okay, now everything is uh, deployed and let me uh, log in directly to our Bastion VM, right? Okay, we are in a Bastion VM. Everything has been created according to our plan. I will show you uh, private IP. So it's a uh, primary VNIC. Perfect. Now we can exit. And okay, let me go back to quick starts and the uh, repo directory. And now I will run Terraform destroy with auto approve. So everything will disappear from our infrastructure. Perfect. Bastion in a termination. Yeah, it's moving forward. Okay, let me verify networks. Two spoke VCNs has mm, disappeared. They, they are terminated. Now we are waiting for Bastion instance to be destroyed and hub VCN will disappear as well. It will take some time, so we need to be a little bit more patient. And that's it. 15 resources destroyed. Bastion VM is terminated, right? And this is exactly what we have planned to do. Okay, that is end of my demo. And that is all I have for you today. And I want to thank you for attending. And I hope you will have great rest of your day. And that is all. Thank you.